55, St. James's Lane, Muswell Hill. Bante, my teacher, Sangharakshita, Ergen Sangharakshita, used to live here in the early days of starting the Western Buddhist movement, Friends of the Western Buddhist movement as well, in the late 1960s. So this was the house, and I imagine that he would have taken the nicest room up on the first floor there, and seen St. James's Church up the hill very frequently there. A tree that he would have known well has been chopped down today um, by two um, men who don't wish to be in the shop, but one knows Sogyal Rinpoche through having been to a seminar, so I like that connection. Um, but sad demise of a tree. Um, so I'm using this as a location. This was on my um, fundraising round, this location, and I would bow at this house when passing, the only house I regularly bowed to, for understandable reasons. Um, I'm using this as a location just to read out the final part of Why Move to Hastings, if I can find Kindle that's got it in. So, <laughs> bemused looks all around, <laughs> and you're filming me filming... Oh dear. Um, okay. So, need to find the right bit. Um, the right bit is why move to Hastings? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Um, so, I'll, actually, I'll go back to this bit about a spiritual community because this was obviously an important place where Bante lived in a spiritual community. So, a spiritual community is created by a number of people who are relatively emancipated from the group, relatively integrated and aware, and with, a, with an inner direction and positive purpose to their lives. Chapter 14. Why move to Hastings? Some think it's odd that the Pier Fire of 15th of October 2010 was the spur to my realising that I wanted to live in Hastings. I'm reading to YouTube. A YouTube film of the fire, uploaded March 2011, ends with the caption, the end of an era, and question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Are you um, fundraising or something? What's the badge for? Oh, that's just a t-shirt. No, but you've got a little... Oh, that's your school oh, yeah, student school. Can I be in it? Hi. Well, you look like you are. Okay, that's cool. So... <laughs> Personally, I'm very excited by the new era that has been coming in simultaneously and gives anyone with internet access and some creativity <laughs> the power to engage others in change. Just as has been happening in the Middle this? East, no, Tunisia, Egypt and Libya, to name just three examples of power to the people movements in the first two months of 2011. I attempt to explain the gut feeling that Hastings is the place for me to live in a number of ways through the important changes though the important changes are not just about the rational, they're about the whole dream cycle process, as in Chris Johnson's excellent book, Find Your Power. So this is the dream cycle Woo! in Find Your Power. Dream, plan, do and review. Woo! Thank you very much for the cheers. The whole dream cycle concept. Bye. Cheerio. Thank you for sharing. Okay. What's it going to be called on YouTube? The ch my channel is called Toothpaste007. Toothpaste. Okay, the whole Woo! dream cycle Happy concept. <laughs> I'm sorry, you won't be famous because of this. Sorry, it's not the it's not the X factor. Cannon, Cannon Wilson. <laughs> okay, Cannon Wilson. The whole dream cycle concept is something I've been working on with students since December 2010 in the central city of India, in person and remotely on www Nagaloka. Is it still counting the seconds? nagaloka-dreamcycle.blogspot.com I'm guessing you want me to be out of here as soon as possible because you're a bit weirded out, no? <laughs> Where are your people to pick you up? He's gone to the dump. He's gone to the pot. He's gone for a dump and then he'll come and pick you up. <laughs> okay. Back in Hastings. Outside the pier shop, I met someone, a Californian, who sent something special about the energy in St. Leonard's and Hastings. Kathy is one of many Hastings interviewees on my YouTube channel, Toothpaste007. She's back from the dump. So I'm going to move along because things are going to be picked up and happening here. So, um, 
Yep. Why not subscribe? Hastings has no registered known male friends from within the Tree Ratna Buddhist community, and yet I have asked for ordination, which is about my deepening my connection with those in the movement. The key Buddhist jargon here is going for refuge, the central significance of which is explained in this book. So www.sangharakshita, S-A-N-G-H-A-R-A-K-S-H-I-T-A dot org. Then forward slash underscore books forward slash going hyphen for hyphen refuge dot pdf which is on the page www.sangarekshita.org forward slash online underscore books dot html. Whew. Walking uphill, talking, having funny looks at me. Familiar territory. Anyone want to work with me to set up a Buddhist centre in Hastings? Contact me via the contact form on the Mediation Support Limited website. NB, that's mediation support, not meditation support, though I support both. And a sustainability centre, e.g. bricks and bread franchise for Hastings. Whoa! Attempting to give a rational explanation for Hastings, I wrote the following. Another reason is because the second most deprived seaside town in the UK, which is high on the list of places likely to lose most jobs, with about 42% public sector employment in the workforce, and with a good librarian friend there, i.e. Hastings, could lead the way, so I'm saying that Hastings could lead the way in resource sharing innovation, thanks to www.freelander.org and www, whoa, dropthekindle.org. iShareKindles.org is another one of my sites, but this is Street Bank. Dot com I'm trying to promote. So streetbank.com, please register. Okay, we have the camera set up again, and just get out of the way. A friend in Hastings replied in relation to Hastings and other south coast towns. Eastbourne, great for regular shopping. Bexhill, good for dreamy, quiet days in old-fashioned, in a good way, seaside resort. But Hastings is definitely the one to live in. I absolutely disagree that it's a dead town. It has a vibrant, creative buzz. It's full of artists, writers and musicians. It has the plus of not being a glow clone town and has many independent shops in the town centre as well as the Old Town and St. Leonard's. Where else would you find a medieval town which even gave its name to the most famous date in history? A thriving fishing fleet still launching their boats from the beach as they have done since Anglo-Saxon times, alongside high Victorian seaside development, including an excellent centrally placed park. Whether it's expensive is a matter of what you can pay still much cheaper to do most things here than pretty much anywhere else in the South East, Tunbridge Wells, Brighton, anybody? And so much is laid on free of charge or at minimal cost. Jack in the Green, Old Town Carnival, Hastings Week, Coastal Currents, St. Leonard's Festival, Play Days in the Park, a different festival every month it seems. I moved here in 2001 when it really had hit rock bottom and in all honesty its improvement has been two steps forward, one step back. Closing sentence. But it still knocks spots off everywhere else I've ever lived, Trapple exclamation mark. You should hurry up and get down here, Paul. So all of that text, by the way, is on the website that I built around living in Sussex and the issues in Sussex as I perceive them that are of most significance. Not that I've taken in the whole of Sussex, I'm rather focused on Hastings and the Pier Fire, but I think things will spread out from there when something magical happens in relation to that. www.sussexcommunity, all one word, sussexcommunity.blogspot.com And this is 
St James's Church at the end of the road where Sanger Exeter used to live. Move those tripod stands out of the way, put some light on the church and say Om Mani Padme Hong. <laughs>